Hi everyone, it's Stephanie, a solution architect here at Eggplant, and I'm back again today for another episode of e-learning with Eggy. So today we're going to talk about how you can pass values into your test scripts. And Eggy's feeling super festive right now, so we're going to be going Christmas shopping. So what you see here is two, two states, open my web app and search for gifts. Now currently I've got a few gifts that we can select and I've created action variables, candle, chocolate, slippers and blanket. Now typically if we were to just run this in exploratory mode, we would pick one of these values. So in this case we picked blanket. And in this case, we picked candle, but you may want to specify an exact value rather than having it generated. So that's when we would pass it into our test case. So let's do that. The first thing is to go to your test case builder. So let's build a new test case and just select what you want to do and give it a name. I'm going to call this by candle. Now, if you go to your test case tab, you will find this test case here. And what you can do is go ahead and select edit. And in file search gifts action, we want to select variable conditions because we're saying that we're specifying a particular value. Our gift variable is available and you can select your operator. In this case, I want to say equals. And I'm going to say candle. I'll just add that in. And then now we have that selected. So rather than having a random value selected, what you can do is specify the value. And then you can go ahead and play that. And in this case, you can see that we've set the value to candle and that is what's been used. So there you go. That's how you can pass values into your test cases. I hope you enjoy that and stay tuned for the next episode of eLearning with Eggy.